The Houston Area Park has received a curious piece of art. A monumental sculpture of Alice in Wonderland's Mad Hatter Tea Party is a permanent installation in Evelyn's Park in Bel Air, Texas. Nine-foot characters are perpetually having tea at a ten-foot table where you can sit down to the most coveted dining experience in Texas. Houston sculptor Brigitte Monjean created the work titled Move One Place On. She used both traditional sculpture and digital technology. In B. Monjean Sculpture Design Studio, Alice and her friends get big and small not with elixirs and mushrooms. No, they do so with technology. It took her nearly three years to sell the client the idea. Over that time, the project morphed. She started by sketching out ideas using digital software. She collected reference for each piece and created small clay maquettes. Once complete, these maquettes were 3D scanned using a laser scanner. She could then revise each piece in the computer before sending the data to her vendor. They CNC milled the art out of urethane foam, enlarging them using computer numerically controlled milling machines. It is fascinating to see each piece come to life. Once Brigitte received the enlarged foam pieces, she carved them, and then she and her team added layers of clay to finalize the detail. She also 3D printed some images from the computer data to use for reference. Once approved, each character then went through the traditional process of the lost wax method of bronze casting. The pieces are cut up and molds are made using rubber and plaster or fiberglass mother mold. The foundry paints wax inside each mold. Gates, sprues, and pouring cups are added to each piece before they are dipped into a slurry mixture to create a shell both inside and out. The wax is then burned out of the piece and bronze is poured into the shells. But the sculpture is far from being done. The ceramic shell must be hammered and sandblasted away from the metal before the foundry welds the pieces together. When all the pieces were cast, Brigitte visited the foundry to check the metal to be sure it was cast, welded, and put together the way she intended. It was the first time she had ever seen the entire sculpture together. Because of the production schedule, she had to create the art in pieces and send them to the foundry. This was a huge undertaking because each character was created to interact with an empty seat at the table. Once the artist approved the sculpture, she sent instructions to the foundry for patina. A patina is done using different chemicals on the metal. Though the patina on Move One Place On is basic, the textures make it look like many colors and they look wonderful in the evening sun. The sculpture was brought to Evelyn's Park on an open bed truck and installed one rainy day in spring of 2018. Now young and old alike enjoy being able to celebrate with Alice and her friends. But the intrigue does not stop there. Brigitte hid 150 elements of the Lewis Carroll story in the sculpture in honor of the 150th anniversary. Though many have asked her for a checkoff list, she refuses to provide one. She says it's about being curious and encouraging families to read. The hidden things are not just what is hidden, but you must know where they are in the story and what they mean. She says she will begin to reveal them on her social media pages, but states that it won't be easy as it will be in riddle and rhyme. She provides a free printable Detective Wonderland book on the sculpture's website where you can document your findings. The educational element does not stop there either. Brigitte speaks to children and adults about STEAM. STEAM is an interdisciplinary educational initiative using science, technology, engineering, art, and math. The Alice Project has it in spades, or should we say hearts, and Brigitte encourages others through the art and her writing. She is the author of 3D Technology and Fine Art and Craft, exploring 3D printing, scanning, sculpting, and milling. The book features art and technology and how artists around the world are pushing the limits. She is presently working on a new book all about the Alice Project. She is also providing free curriculum for teachers, librarians, and homeschoolers that use the stories of Alice in Wonderland and STEAM. Is she done with Alice, or is she still in that rabbit hole? Her journey continues. First, she is reproducing the hidden objects as collectibles that will be sold on the AliceSculpture.com website. 
and also the technology continues. She and a scanning company are going to the park and 3D scanning the entire scene. There are two ways they are scanning. The first is an entire scan of the scene and that part of the park. This will give her the opportunity to make a virtual tour of the sculpture. People from anywhere in the world will be able to visit remotely. Though many have said nothing compares to being there and being caught up in the search for the 150. She also hopes to work with coders that can help her take the scans of the scene and make it into an educational experience. But hold on, this is very exciting. It gets even better. You see, Alice is once again going small. Brigitte is taking the exact replica of the Alice scene from another 3D scanning process and shrinking it down. This will be made into a limited edition bronze sculptures available for purchase. Now you can have your own Move One Place On. They will be ready in spring of 2019, but for those who make a commitment of purchasing before spring of 2019, she is also offering a very curious adventure. You see, you will be given a coveted Thimble invitation, which offers you and six of your friends to come and have a meal as you sit at the table with Alice and her friends and have a personal tour of the sculpture with the artist. For more information on the art or the artist, please contact Brigitte Monjon through the AliceSculpture.com website or other social media. Curiouser and curiouser. <laughs>